Hi Sluice Cats, my name is Dr. Maggie Lou. welcome back to my channel. Most of us know that the Big Bang Theory describes how the universe formed and it explains why it's expanding. In this week's video, I talk about the evidence that we've gathered so far, so let's begin. The Big Bang Theory states that about 13.8 billion years ago, all the matter in the universe was condensed into an infinitely tiny point in space. The early universe was hot and dense before it began to cool and then rapidly expand. This expansion, known as cosmic inflation, increased the size of the universe by more than 60 e-folds, which means a factor of exponential 60, or about 1 times 10 to the power of 26. The expansion was faster than the speed of light, and it was all over in a fraction of a second. Inflation assumes the existence of a field called the inflaton field that caused the rapid expansion of the universe and created all of this matter. And since we don't see the inflaton field today, it must somehow mysteriously disappear. Our universe was born from a quantum fluctuation of the inflaton field in the early universe. But the Big Bang is just one such quantum fluctuation. And there must be other quantum fluctuations occurring outside of our universe. The universe that we experience is just one of many. Multiple universes being created all the time. It's difficult to build a model of inflation that doesn't give rise to multiple universes, each one coexisting like bubbles besides one another. So if you believe in the Big Bang and inflation, then indirectly you also believe in multiverses. Of course, the Big Bang Theory is just one of many theories of how our universe might have began, but it's the one that most agrees with what we've observed. Whilst the universe is believed to have undergone rapid expansion in the early universe, it is still to this day expanding. Not only that, but it's expanding at an increased pace. Galaxies are moving away from us, and the further a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. At some point, we won't be able to see any other galaxies at all. In the early 1900s, Edwin Hubble observed a linear relationship between the distance of galaxies and the velocity at which they were moving away from us. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away. This suggests that the universe is expanding and at an accelerated rate. If you extrapolate this backwards, then you realize that the entire universe must project back to a singularity, a point in space. And this is what laid the foundations for the Big Bang Theory we know today. Sometimes called the afterglow of the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, or CMB for short, is a remnant heat from the Big Bang. In the 1960s, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson picked up the CMB signal by accident. They initially even thought it was caused by pigeon poop on their radio dishes. The CMB photons scatter off electrons as it travels towards us, and this scattering is what produces a very characteristic energy spectrum. This black body spectrum, black body because remember it's thermal heat emission, has been perfectly matched to other observations. It matches so well that you can't even see the error bars. No other theory so far can explain this energy spectrum. The interesting thing though is that the CMB is almost perfectly 2.7 Kelvin temperature everywhere. The Big Bang Theory says that the early universe was a very hot place. Just one second after the Big Bang, the temperature of the universe was approximately 10 billion degrees, and it was filled with neutrons, protons, electrons, positrons, photons, and neutrinos. As the universe expanded and cooled, the neutrons either decayed into protons and electrons, or they combined with protons to make deuterium, a type of hydrogen. During the first three minutes of the universe, most of the deuterium combined to make helium and small amounts of lithium. This process is known as Big Bang nucleosynthesis. 
So from the Big Bang Theory, we expect to produce a certain amount of light elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium. And it turns out that the observations roughly agree with what is expected from the Big Bang. However, lithium is a bit of an outlier. It is a factor of three off. This cosmological lithium problem is unsolved. However, the general consistency of all these abundances provide the evidence for the Big Bang. Many other pieces of evidence support the theory of the Big Bang, like the observed morphologies and distribution of galaxies, but as with any theory, there remain outstanding problems. Like, why is there more matter than antimatter in the universe? The Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter. So, what new physics could be to blame? And what exactly is dark matter and dark energy? Alternative explanations besides the Big Bang exist, such as eternal inflation or an oscillating universe. But hopefully this intro to the Big Bang Theory will allow me to talk about more of these different types of theories, these different types of scenarios in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.